Previously on Sims Survivor. At the immunity challenge, Leon was able to secure safety for himself from Tribal Council. At Tribal Council, there was a three-way tie between Annabella, Luke, and Alyssa, but the final vote was cast for Alyssa, making her the first member of the jury. Ten castaways remain. Who will be voted out next? Hey everyone, welcome back to Sims Survivor. Unfortunately, Alyssa was voted out in the last episode. I'm really sad to see her go. I was really rooting for her. But now there's all just random sims in the game, so my biases are out the window. Not to say that there were any biases before, but there may have been some underlying support because they were my friends in real life, but now because they're out, there's not much I can do about that. So going into today's episode, we have another immunity challenge and tribal council. The next person will be voted out and join Alyssa in the jury. I'm really intrigued to see who it's going to be. We saw Luke and Annabella get votes at last Tribal Council, so I don't know if they could be the next on the chopping block, but the Immunity Challenge and the Hidden Immunity Idol still in the game will definitely shake stuff up. So without further ado, let's get back into it. Dylan is now the last standing member of the original Tengu tribe. It's definitely probably hard for him. He's watched ally after ally after ally get voted out of this game. Now he's the last one standing. So he has a very heavy hill to climb after this in order to get to the end. But I think he... He's not out of it yet. He's still in the game, and that's all that matters at this point. That was also a really close tribal council for Annabella and Luke. I was kind of shocked that Luke got the amount of votes that he did, but Annabella is definitely in danger. This is the second tribal in a row where she's collected a lot of votes. So in order for her to survive, the two of them just need to adjust things and they need to improve their social game because they could easily be the next ones to be picked off. I think Abigail and Calypso have a really good chance of winning so far. The two of them are the only people in the game who have yet to receive a vote. I think that's a pretty impressive feat considering the fact that we've had a lot of tribal councils, a lot of unpredictability. So they've definitely got it under wraps and they know what they're doing. It seems like the original Makani tribe are all bonding, Leon, Khaled, and Abigail were all just chatting with each other, trying to hash up and see how they can try to eliminate the Way 2 tribe moving forward, because the Way 2 still has majority. Maybe the Makani can pull in Dylan. I have no idea as of yet, but it's definitely just going to get even more interesting from here. It is now time for the next immunity challenge. Today's challenge is called Meditation Endurance, and here's how it works. Each castaway will meditate for as long as they possibly can. The last person left meditating will be the winner of the immunity challenge and will be safe from the upcoming tribal council. It's getting close to the end of the game. This is not a time where you want to slack off. Take advantage of this competition and secure yourself safety. Without further ado, let's begin the challenge. And the challenge has begun. And it appears that Dylan and Abigail have both been eliminated, and right behind them is Khaled. The three of them are all out of this immunity challenge. And Jocelyn is the next person to be eliminated. And Steven is the next person to be eliminated from the competition. And Calypso has also been eliminated. And Luke drops out and immediately behind him is Annabella. The two of them are now out. We are now down to Leon and Ismail. And Ismail has been eliminated, which means congratulations, Leon. You have won individual immunity. You are safe from tribal council. I have nothing for the rest of you. One of you will be the ninth person voted out of Sim Survivor and the second member of our jury. That's all I have to say. 
head back to camp. Huge congratulations to Leon who won his second back-to-back -back immunity challenge. He is safe yet again for this travel council. He just gets to sit back and watch what's going to happen. I honestly did not expect him to be such a competition threat going into this game, but he is really doing well in these immunity challenges. If he keeps it up, he could easily win his way to the finale, but that's kind of unlikely, but at the rate that he's going, he's doing pretty well, so gotta give credit where credit is due. Annabella and Luke were just short of winning the immunity challenge. They both really needed it, so I'm wondering if their inability to do so is going to have any impact on the upcoming Tribal Council. Because Leon won the last immunity and he won this one, I'm expecting a lot of the votes to be similar, except the ones that were for Alyssa are obviously going to be directed towards different people. So it's just where those votes are going to change now. I've said this multiple times in this game, one conversation can change the course of the Tribal Council. Literally, I've had people where it was like neck and neck for who they're going to vote for, but right before the tribal council, they had a conversation with someone, and as a result, that person was safe. And that one vote may be the difference between you staying in this game and you going home. I've really liked Calypso's gameplay. It's been very behind the scenes, like she hasn't done a lot up front. But I do think the fact that she has not been targeted whatsoever, you could say she's floating, but at the same time to not get at least one vote is a big token of how well your social game is. So I think she's doing well in the social aspect, I just think she needs to have a better well-rounded game, but at this point, if you're not getting any votes, keep what you're doing up, because I think that's imperative for you to survive. A lot of conversations are happening in the game. You do not want to be the next person to go home, especially once they've made it so far into the game. I think Dylan and Luke and Jocelyn have just been chatting together. A lot of people were chatting last night. Ismail was chatting with a few people. It's just the uncertainty. These Sims know what they're about to get into. They know that Tribal Council is unpredictable. So I feel like I'm getting repetitive. The next time we'll be chatting, we'll be at Tribal Council. But who do you think is going to go home? Comment down below. Are you noticing conversations and things that I'm not at the moment? Because I'm very intrigued to know what your perception of the game is at this point. It's now time for Tribal Council. Let's first bring in the members of our jury. Alyssa voted out at the last tribal council. After 24 days in this game, one of you will be the next person voted out of Sim Survivor, the next member of our jury. Without further ado, let's get to the vote. Abigail, you're up first. It is now time to read the votes. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. If anyone has a hidden immunity idol, they would like to use it. Now would be the time to do so. It is now time to read the votes. First vote, Abigail. Annabella, that's one vote Abigail, one vote Annabella. Steven, that's one vote Abigail, one vote Annabella, one vote Steven. Khaled, that's one vote Abigail, Annabella, Stephen, Khaled. Jocelyn, that's one vote Abigail, Annabella, Stephen, Khaled, Jocelyn. Ismail, that's one vote Abigail, Annabella, Stephen, Khaled, Jocelyn, Ismail. Dylan, that's one vote Abigail, Annabella, Stephen, Khaled, Jocelyn, Ismail, Dylan. Abigail, that's two votes Abigail. Annabella, that's two votes Abigail, two votes Annabella, one vote left. Ninth person voted out of Sim Survivor and the second member of our jury, Abigail, that's three, that's enough, please come bring me your torch. Abigail, the tribe has spoken. Tide appears to be moving in units, just hope and pray that the tide doesn't sweep you out of this game. That's all I have to say, head back to camp.
And that concludes another episode of Sim Survivor. I am honestly shocked that Abigail got voted out. I thought she was like doing really well socially with everyone but she just got blindsided in tonight's vote. There was a unit of three who took this opportunity to get rid of her. I honestly think Annabella has taken over Alyssa's role as being a part of close votes because this is the almost third time that Annabella has almost been eliminated. She is just sliding by by the skin on her teeth and it's, it's intense for sure. There's not that many girls left in the game. I'm rooting for them only due to the fact that like there's just so many guys left and it's like you gotta root for the underdog in this case and I'm hoping one of them can pull it off. I'd love to see all three of them in the finale but I think Annabella is not doing as well as she needs to be. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. It honestly means the world to me. Um, I really hope you're enjoying the series. Who's your favorite person? Who are you rooting for? Are you shocked that Abigail was voted out? Who did you expect to get eliminated? I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world and see you later.